All right, so it's the morning after, and of course it rained outside yesterday, so now it's all wet here. Oh well, what are you gonna do? So we gotta get home quickly here. Let's do uh, the first cold start ever in the E60 M5. This is a kind of bad angle, but whatever. Definitely needs an exhaust. Now, I love this part. If you look at the uh, tachometer here, when the engine is cold, you can tell right there, it's at like 6,500 RPM. And as it gets warm, it goes down. And I think it's to 8,000 or 7,750 or something like that. God, I can't believe I have an E60 M5. This is so awesome. All right, so we're on the turnpike. I got wifey behind me in the Raptor. I've been sitting here trying to figure out how to reset the tri trip computer. This system right here, the iDrive, is, I mean, yeah, complicated to say the least. But then I figured out it's one of these little buttons right here, so the BC, whatever that stands for. So on the highway, we're currently getting 18.2, whatever. If I hit the M button and not do anything else, I mean, it's not like I increase in speed or anything. Like, you can tell, like, that the engine just gets extra power and, like, starts going faster without me doing anything. But we don't actually need it when we're just cruising on the highway. Since I have her with me, you know, we gotta keep it civil anyhow. She'll kill me if I start disappearing here. So first time using this uh, cool cup holder. <laughs> it has an awesome stereo. I love it. All right, so we just got gas for the first time in the Beamer. Not that it was empty, but we got a long uh, ways to go here. So I'm driving my favorite M5 ever, and we're about to get passed by my favorite M3 ever, the E92. Let's see if we can get a thumbs up here and uh, yeah, be part of the squad. Oh, completely ignored. All right, it's okay though, I still like you. Nice car, man. Well, I'm being passed by wifey. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> she doesn't even look at me. <laughs> All right, so the first little warning light has popped up here, if you guys can see that uh, exclamation triangle there. And it says check engine oil level at one quart as soon as possible. Now the car has been serviced, but uh, you know, these M cars, they're known to eat oil, so I need to find 10W60 full synthetic and add a quart to the car as soon as possible. I mean, we're, we're not too far away from home here, but I don't know on the turnpike if they carry this type of stuff at a gas station, so yeah. We're gonna have to stop here and see if we can find some 10W60. All right, so we stopped here at a rest stop on the turnpike and I checked in there and kind of like I thought they don't care that weight of oil. And I've been reading on the forums that this is apparently pretty common. The E60 M5 does not have a, a regular normal dipstick. It's measured electronically and that electronic dipstick can be kind of inconsistent. So according to other owners, they like to see the oil go down even further. So if they add a quart, they're not overfilling. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start the car up, see what it says. So look at that. Now the warning triangle thing is actually gone. That's interesting. It's still saying 0 0.2 though. Uh, again, from the forums, people said, you know, I like to see it go down to 0, 0.0 before I actually add a quart. So I think we're good. We're just gonna wait till I come home. We're gonna go to an auto zone and then we're gonna buy a quart of 10W60. So when you drive in this car from inside of the E60 M5, you don't hear any exhaust note whatsoever. So we're gonna downshift to third. It's just like induction noise. I know it sounds from the outside though, from the exhaust, but you don't hear it inside the car. <laughs> Okay, so she's home and she looks good in the driveway. We're just waiting for Sydney to come home and show her the car and see what she thinks. Did you buy it? Well, yeah. You bought it. Uh-huh. Why? That's super dumb. Why is it dumb? Why do you, why do, you do that? 
What is this thing? Is this a hoopty? It's not a hoopty. What, what is it? It's a BMW. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Why'd you buy it? Because it's awesome. Oh, well, <laughs> You don't like it? No, I just can't see it. I need to back up. I mean, it's cool. <laughs> Did we like buy it or rent it? <laughs> <laughs> we bought it. Okay. You wanna go for a ride later? Sure. You're not very impressed, are you? I am. But what kind of a car is it? BMW is M5. It a sports car? Yes, yeah, super sedan. Oh yeah. It's got a V10. Oh. I thought <laughs> it looked like a Mercedes at first. It kind of looks like it. No, well, all the BMW boys are gonna be mad about that one. All right, go inside. Why? You'll understand at some point, maybe. When you become a car person. Alright, get in here. Are you gonna add For the, the first time. Are you going to add the stupid supercharge like you did No, to I'm that? not adding a stupid supercharger. Hey, look. You have cup holders in the headdress. How cool is that? <laughs> and uh, I guess who's driving? Why is he driving? <laughs> the question is, can she drive a stick? All right, so we'll stick that in there, and then. Well, like a glove, like you haven't done anything else. That's impressive. That was smooth, babe. That's nice. I'm impressed. What? She just thinks I'm annoying. It's not just because you're a woman or anything like that. It's just that I've never been in a car with you before when you drive a stick. Oh, obviously I knew you could. I haven't had one in years. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Now we do. All right, so we're at O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Here, let me go pick up some oil. So a couple hours later here, I have filled up the engine uh, as the car told me to do with a quart of uh, 10W60 full synthetic. And as you guys could see by the uh, messages that the car was telling me, we needed to do that. Because when we got home from Philadelphia, it was at 0.2 and that is too low. It should be around 0.5 or 0.6 uh, as a max. Now, according to the owner's manual, you see here, Item number three, oil level too high, have the vehicle checked immediately. Otherwise, engine damage may result if too much oil have been added. Now, I'm not trying to make some dramatical video here. <laughs> I'm not too worried about this. What I think is that this uh, measurement system that the car is using, because it's an electronic dipstick type thing, doesn't have a, a normal dipstick, I think it's a little finicky because I know the car was serviced right before I bought it. This shouldn't be an issue, but it seems to be uh, a, a, a bit of a thing with me uh, right when I bought a car. It happened with the second AMG on the same day. It's happening with uh, this car now on the same day that I'm taking it home. I mean, not counting yesterday where I drove it four miles. Technically, it didn't happen uh, the first day with the Ferrari, although I noticed some things, but it was nothing that really happened. It was like a week later or something like that with the alternator belt. So, <laughs> so tomorrow, uh, you know, I'm gonna have this checked out. I'm not gonna get under the car and, and start like trying to drain oil and all that stuff. But I'm not, I'm not doing that. So I'm gonna have a professional look at it tomorrow. Hopefully, I can get an appointment at a BMW dealership just to be on the safe side. So I'll see you guys in the morning <laughs> all right good morning well it's actually afternoon so after reading a bit more on the forums uh, regarding this whole electronic dipstick and you know the engine showing that it's low on oil it's usually either not low on oil according to owners that is you should wait a little bit before you put a full quart of oil in the car unlike what the car actually tells you to do when it's low on oil we already covered this but initially when i read about this when we were on our way back from philly i felt that it would be safe to wait until we get home and it was about a hundred miles until we got home so i figured okay you know just leave it be at the time drive home and then put a quart of oil in the car which i did and now it's showing that it's overfilled by one and a half quarts kind of confusing and a little bummed out again i'm not worried about it i'm just bummed out that i can't get in the car and drive it currently because i want to drive it i've been driving the truck today 
I want to drive the M5. I was also hoping to get it into a dealership today, but uh, the nearest appointment I could get was Friday. So on Friday, I'm taking it to a dealership here in Pittsburgh, and uh, they're going to check it out. And most likely what I think they'll do is probably just do an oil change, which I shouldn't need this soon, but we might as well figure out what an oil change costs on this car here. So I guess what I should have done was just trust forum members and not trust the car. But I trusted the car and uh, here we are. I'm afraid to drive it now because it's overfilled with oil, at least for longer periods of time. I'm still gonna drive it to the dealership and get this handled, but uh, yeah, kind of crappy situation. Again, I'm not worried about the car being broke or anything like that. I'm just bummed that I can't drive it right now. In other news, it's getting uh, paint protection film next week so very excited about that since the car will mainly be sitting outside at least the the beautiful black paint will be protected all right so i know it's been a lot of talking from my end in this video and i hate when i talk a lot in videos so we're going to end it with that the first little uh unreliability with the car uh, again, it was noticed on the first day. <laughs> but I kind of feel like this is a, you, you know, you live and you learn. It's a rookie mistake on my end, but like, how would I know? I mean, I just wanted to be on the safe side and I did what the car told me to do. And so for future reference, I'll know to just put half a quart of oil in uh, whenever it tells me that it's low instead of a full quart, because uh, yeah. The ownership, or should I say the service experience of uh, this E60 M5 has started sooner than I thought it would. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to. Please subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.